Hey there, Wondering Watchers. Welcome to this unboxing and flip through of RWS Wide Angle. This is a deck I backed on Kickstarter and was created by Dextiny, which also put out the Chubby Bun Tarot deck and Pantha Oracle that I use in some of the readings. Uh, their Etsy shop is called Shuffle Tarot and their decks ship from Thailand. So to get to the United States, it's about $34 just for the shipping. But I wanted to support um, Dextiny because I really like their, their decks and I think this is a really neat concept. Um, basically taking the Writer Waite Smith original cards and um, filling in the background, kind of expanding that so you can um, see what is behind the traditional cards and possibly use that to, um, you know, tap into more of your intuition. So here, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the other um, cards that they have in their different decks. Here, this is just like a 10 card Celtic cross. Um, so they kind of put out like mini cards from the different decks that they have. And here is like how you put the spread together, though it doesn't have like the positions and stuff. You can find that easily online. Um, I don't know the name of the decks. They just have, you know, big fan on the back, but uh, you can see like different versions of the decks. This is a King of Cups in one of their decks. This is the Fool card in one of their decks. The Hierophant. Strength card. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, Chariot, the Lover's card, Two of Wands, and Knight of Cups. So this is just giving a little taste of the different types of decks that Destiny puts out. So for this RSW wide angle, put this aside here. So here, these cards um, are matte coated 350 GSM card stock. This is just a card that has, uh, this is what the back of the cards look like in here. It just has both of them. Um, and let's see here, there's a, thank you on this actually i'm gonna flip this over so it comes with like the certificate of like i was i guess backer 215 or this is the 215 deck number that was issued um and it's interesting these these cards that have the like you know the extra cards in the decks i kind of um, depending on what it is, sometimes I add it into the deck. Um, but usually when it's just like, to me, almost like fillers, I don't put it in. But you can also use this as like a wild card or um, kind of a still pending kind of position in a spread. Something's not yet come to light. So you can kind of use these any which way you want. Um, this deck comes with two frame cards. So basically the concept is that you'll have this, you know, expanded background card. And if you need to focus on the main image, you put these frame cards over it. So the original um, Rider Waite Smith image is there for you. And I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. I'm going to point out the things that I like. So what I like about this full here, there's the original full card, and then you've got the 
these sharks um, that are in the water. And in the original one, you don't even you don't even see like the water. That's not even something that um, really is there. It's usually like just um, what's it called? Almost like mountains in the background. And here I love this like little birdhouse. Um, and this large, beautiful garden here for the magician. I like how you have this like owl over here, which kind of generally symbolizes knowledge and these candles. And I really enjoy these cows over here um, and this waterfall. You can see there's this castle in the back and this like almost like this farm. Here with the emperor, you can just see more of the um, just more of the mountains behind it, and a little bit more of the river that goes behind the emperor. And the hierophant here, you can see like the seats for the other people. You can see kind of this is almost like the top of this almost seems like it is a version of the lovers a little bit. And here you have the lover's card and you've got these planets over here and they're on this like little like floating mound. And with the chariot, you have th these like chickens and there's the bridge going to like the city behind. And with the strength card, got this picnic and these little I don't know if they're like other lions or if it's cubs. And then with the hermit, you just have like more of this like rocky area. And with the wheel of fortune, you don't see this. And you know, this is just the, um, the creators, the destiny creators version of it, it's not necessarily the, you know, uh, part of the writer Waite Smith, but it's just their kind of envisioning what the scene would be like here with the justice card and these other people kind of, you know, standing around, maybe they are waiting to speak to this person here and get some some decisions or um, assessments given to them. Here with the hanged man, you've got these like uh, seagulls or seabirds here. And it's like this person has tied themselves to this um, wooden stake that's out in the water. And here you have the death card and usually you just see like the sun and the two pillars or towers in the background. But here you can see these people and um, their kind of home where death is coming to visit. You have the temperance card here. So more of the water and more of the garden. And I really like this devil card. You can see these eyes like hiding in the darkness behind them. And here with the tower, you just have, I guess, further to fall and more darkness behind. And the star, you can see it's almost, uh, it's, almost as if these like little pieces of land are kind of forming a globe or the you know planet earth and here you have the moon and i think this is supposed to be like a reflection possibly of the moon and more of the like the pond and the background mountains here you have the sun where you, there's more of like a village going on here in the background and the judgment card and you could see like there's this boat and it's almost like 
These clouds are actually like the steam from the steamboat or something. And that they're in the middle of like the ocean. Here we have the world and more sky. And here we get into the wands. And here you can see like there's an actual person or, you know, entity that is supposed to be holding onto this wand and more of like the, the town. Here you have the two of wands and just more of the um, scenery where this person is kind of looking out. You got some birds, three of wands, got these uh, kind of like looks like like a ship or a lighthouse over here four wands just more of the uh, city in the background five of wands you've got these people cheering on um, these I guess they're supposed to be pages fighting each other and you've got these like um, this barn area and the six of wands you have more of the background of the city and even another horse over here and it almost looks like the um possibly the knight of swords behind you got the seven of wands the eight of wands where you've got these balloons hot air balloons out in the sky and here in this nine of wands, it's almost, you can see the ones that are standing up are supposed to serve as a barrier or a gate where it's broken off here. In the 10 of wands, you can see the um, chop wood and the houses in the background. And maybe some other people there that are either watching or they, this person can ask for, for some assistance. You got the page of wands and there's actually trees there in the desert the knight of wands you've got this uh like cobra snake this building in the background queen of wands kind of sitting high above the looks like a city with an arena down here and the king of wands with his uh, i don't know tiger perhaps and some of the kingdom where he's ruling now we're getting into the cups the ace of cups and you have this entity holding out the cup and then you've got the two of cups and you, you can see there's still a stage here and it's almost like mini houses on this stage Three of Cups, like more of a party going on. Four of Cups. Five of Cups with this dead tree over in the corner. Six of Cups makes it look like a little park, a little community within this little village. Got the seven of cups and this like little cupid here. And you can see that the smoke is coming from like this genie lamp down at the bottom. Eight of cups, you've got this boat where this person kind of maybe came in from. You've got the nine of cups. And 10 of cups, and it looks like a picnic table back here. Page of Cups, this ship, it's like standing on like a boardwalk or a wharf. It's Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups with this, I don't know, like a duck or a swan back here. And like there's a waterfall in the back. King of Cups with this big lighthouse. And now we're into the swords where you've got this kind of um, almost like this warrior type of entity holding this 
sword over this town. Two of swords, just more water and rocks behind. Three of swords, you can see there's like a stormy sea and a lighthouse kind of underneath here. You have the four of swords, so you have more on the like on the walls and on the floors. Five of swords, you can see these like boats here and this dock. And six of swords, you can see it's like palm trees and a sun off in the distance here. Seven of swords, it's like a barrel and teepee. Eight of swords, you've got this skull over here and something over here that's, I don't know, like a little mini boat or a hat or something. And then the nine of swords, so it's like you've got the door here and a brick wall. And the ten of swords. Got the page of swords, you've got these like kind of straw figures for the page to practice fighting with. The knight of swords where he's got other knights riding with them. The Queen of Swords, where you've got these like a uh, pack of wolves surrounding the queen. And you've got the King of Swords and you've got these like skeletons. Maybe these are like, you know, skeletons of, of wolves. And now we're in the pentacles. You've got this winged figure holding the pentacle, this barrel, and these animals here. Two of pentacles where it's definitely looking like a circus environment. Three of pentacles where you've, it's almost like a, like a storefront with um, like books next to them. Got the four of pentacles where this person is kind of on top of a roof and there's like a little kitty cat there. Five of uh, pentacles, it's just like makes it even look more like massive of a, a church behind these people. Six of pentacles, you have this wagon, you've got this, I don't know, dog or cat. Seven of Pentacles, got this windmill in the back. The pitchfork is over here on the wagon and a bucket. You've got the Eight of Pentacles and you can see all these like discarded pentacles in this person's workshop. Nine of Pentacles, it's like a gate, more of like a structured maybe like, you know, like row of grapes for a winery maybe. And this 10 of pentacles, you've got this like grand staircase going up, um, and this big kind of seal or symbol in the middle of the floor, kind of indicating like it's like a mansion or a castle like that they're within. You've got the page of pentacles with these uh, like bunny rabbits looking on. The Knight of Pentacles uh, with this kind of house in the background here. The Queen of Pentacles with a castle in the background, multiple castles and a lot of um, area land to harvest. And the King of Pentacles who is on his like throne on top of a nice fancy rug. And here, so there's the thanks and the extra cards. So these cards are, again, 350 GSM matte coated cardstock. And 
they're approximately like five and a half inches by five and a half inches. Um, I will kind of show you what it's like to shuffle up these cards. Um, they're too big for my hands, at least for the full deck. Let's see if half a deck I could shuffle. Not well. So, but it, there is like a bend to them. So maybe I could, no, I, there's no way I can get like half the deck and half a deck, can I? Let's see. Well, very, maybe your hands might be able to do it, but not really mine. Um, and I, I think shuffling might be kind of a little bit difficult here. You might have to just separate them out into different, different piles. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and flip through of the RWS wide angle tarot deck, and we'll see you next time. Take care.